Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. a huge content release today with team of week 16 and 17 a lot of cards and a lot of them are pretty good i do want to give a shout out to alec beckley for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subs to the channel turn the notification bell on and comment down below noti gang also guys it is coming down to your final chance to get the justin herbert half a completion exclusive special for this weekend's wild card nfl games you have until tomorrow at midnight to go ahead and sign up using code Zerk to get this special. And you guys will see it in the app on the 12th. Also, tonight we do have NBA, and I have a bunch of NBA picks live over on Twitter right now for the 7 p.m. games. I will have some for the 9 p.m. and then the late night game as well. So as you guys can see, the Team of the Week sets are now live. There are a ton of cards. I'm going to quickly run over all of these cards, then of course go over the LTDs, whatever, but I want to showcase for you guys uh, the abilities on them. So George Kittle here, uh, the number one thing that he gets is 0 AP short in Elite. That is amazing for George Kittle, but he has 94 speed, 91 strength, 95 catch, 96 catch in traffic. 95 spec catch 93 short route running 95 medium route running and 93 run block six foot four 92 truck 96 break tackle it's the best tight end in the game and as i said zero ap short and elite is incredible next up we have kobe durant who does get pick artist for zero he gets short route ko for one ap acrobat for two ap uh, but he's 510 95 speed 96 excel 96 man 92 zone 96 press the height obviously is going to be a little bit of an issue and then not much when it comes to the run game. 54 block shed. I feel like Rams theme teams. You guys will probably pick him up and uh, rock out with him. Then we have Sean Alexander, which is just another running back. We just have so many running backs in the game. Uh, but 95 speed, 95 excel, 225, 92 change of direction, 96 truck, 96 break tackle. He also has 94 juke move, only 65 short route running. So, like, he's a bigger running back right at 225 but then his like weight compared to keith byers you'd rather have byers and then as a receiving back byers is also better and then he also has higher trucking one less break tackle better change of direction look at the catching 94 catching compared to 64 Still, Byers, in my opinion, is the best running back in the game. But Sean Alexander, for curious, does also get tank for 1 AP, goal line back for 1 AP, and I believe running back apprentice for 1 AP. And we have Terrell Suggs, who gets edge threat for 1 AP, under pressure, double or nothing, I believe, as well, all for 1 AP. And this card looks incredible. 92 speed, 96 excel, 96 strength. 96 block shed, 96 power, 95 finesse move. I want this card. This card looks really, really good. And then 98 hit power. I mean, coming around the edge, this is one of the best pass rushers in the entire game. We have 93 overall, Cam Akers, Foya Seda, Luwakon, Greg Joseph, Marco Wilson. Then we get into the week 17 players where we have Daniel Jones. Taking a look at his stats, he has generic two release, which is a decent release. It's not crazy, crazy good. 93 speed, 96 throw power, 93 short, 95 medium, 94 deep, 95 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run. If you guys used the... Uh, Desmond Ritter, rookie premiere at the beginning of the year, he has the same release, okay? So that was a pretty solid release, like I said. It wasn't like Slinger 1, but it was actually pretty solid. 94 juke move, 89 change direction. Oh, he does get a hot rod master for 3 AP, fearless for 2 AP, unslinger for 1 AP, and fast break for 0 I don't know where, you know, in the buckets, all of those are going to be there. Uh, but in terms of like, is he the best quarterback in the game? No. Is he even top three quarterback in the game? I would say no as well because of release and also abilities. I believe he does get set feet lead, but I think it's going to be four AP, I want to say on him in one of his buckets here. So you could get like a decent combination of abilities, but not the best. And we get Kyle Duggar who gets crusher for one AP. He also gets goal line stuff for zero AP, 95 Excel, uh, 95 speed, 6'1", 93 zone, 96 hit power, does have 92 change of direction, 93 jumping, and then 86 block shed. I like that card. Then we have Tim Brown who gets Slotomatic for 1 AP, which is amazing. I think he also gets like Short Out Elite for 1 AP as well, uh, and some other ones. 95 Speed, 96 Excel, 92 Spec Catch, 93 Catch Traffic, 96 Short, 94 Medium, 90 Deep Route Running. If you guys want to know abilities, check out Mutt.gg. There's obviously a, a ton of cards today, but 94 Change Direction, good after the catch, 94 Break Tackle, another solid receiver. And then we finally have Darrell Rivas who gets Pick Artist for 0 AP. He also gets Short Route KO for 1 AP. 
outside shade for two which if you guys run man coverage you'd rather have inside shade discounted there but he is 511 so again you know the height thing is kind of an issue but he has 96 speed 94 excel 96 man 96 zone 97 press and then he also has 97 change direction 68 block shade 82 f power you guys know this uh, if you've been following the channel for a while i love darrell revis cards i absolutely love darrell revis cards so i might end up getting the card we'll see about that then we have eckler who has you know the big card ritter marshawn Lattimore, and kaden and let's see is that eckler set actually in the sets here all right so i don't see the set just yet for that austin eckler that i went over this morning uh which is the matthew berry player of the week but i think it's supposed to be out today i'm pretty sure they showcased the card today unless it's gonna be coming next week but i'm pretty sure it was supposed to be in the game this week i'm not sure about the eckler set i think maybe it's coming out next week with the team league 18 because it's not in the game yet maybe it's in by the time this video goes live but it's not in there yet but we do have this pack right here the 93 plus week 16 and 17 team league fantasy pack i don't know what it is about this specific offer like every single week but it seems like i see people pulling ltds out of this every single week and i've gotten lucky myself as we get 93 Eckler and the second card is 93 overall Marshawn Lattimore I guess we'll go with the Lattimore right there but let's go ahead we'll open up some of these team of the week packs that we have which you guys can see they are 16 and 17 so you get 270 pluses 181 plus of any team of the week player and 187 plus from either 16 or week 17 we also have four ltds in packs right now guys so a lot of limiteds a lot of you know potential to uh pull an ltd that's for sure and don't worry i'm gonna go over also all of the limiteds and all of their building stuff because they actually showcase like on the cards now we do have an ltd ty hilton you know cowboys legend ty hilton here is the 86 overall bailey zappy and 87 overall shane zilstra right there i'll check out the training stuff too to see if there's anything new but i don't expect there to be anything new here uh team of the week cards we get 81 not very good and 90 overall marco wilson let's see nothing new in training I'll open up like two more of these packs here guys and then we'll go ahead and take a look in the auction house and i'll showcase for you guys the team of the week cards as the 85 overall james houston i also saw a lot of people saying james houston was a bit of a snub when it comes to team of the week now i don't know if they're referring to what he did this week like versus the packers or if he actually had like a super super good game last week as well i think he might have had like three sacks last week people were uh complaining about that lions fan said he should have got an upgrade maybe he'll get one with team of the week 18 as these packs per usual team week packs not always the best for me all right so as you guys can see when it comes to the price of these cards kobe durant is only 300k right now then we have the ltd justin houston who okay just got bought up to be honest i'm a little bit surprised because the card is not that crazy good i would say uh but taking a look at justin houston actually doesn't show what his abilities are on the card 92 speed 94 excel 95 strength 88 block shit 96 power move like it's a good card but you would rather have the block shit higher and also over 90 power move and finesse move the terrell Suggs is miles better than this card in terms of his discounted abilities guys unfortunately i actually don't know what he has because i'm looking on mutt.gg they're not showing what discounted abilities he has and unfortunately in the game they are also not showing what discounted abilities he has uh, we also have michael thomas right here going for 578 95 speed 63 95 excel 96 short route running 93 medium 94 deep route running 96 catch in traffic 95 spectacular catch actually good after the catch as well this is like a really usable card uh, in terms of his abilities i believe he has zero ap short out and i don't know what else and again mud.gg is not showcasing the abilities yet for these ltds so unfortunately i can't tell you guys what they are now i do have an update though on one of these cards guys as i was talking about that austin eckler earlier today i was saying how the card really didn't impress me too much because you know it kind of just looks a lot like all the other running backs in the game uh not very high trucking not a very big running back he's a great receiving back but something had to be done to make him extra they actually made a change they made him 96 speed so if you look at mud.gg i'll showcase that for you guys in a second here they did make him 96 speed we also have micah hyde right here again unfortunately guys I, I don't know the abilities 95 speed 93 excel 93 man 96 zone 91 hit power on him as well 92 change of direction 
No blockhead though. And as you guys can see, now Austin Eckler is a 97 overall. So not only did they increase the speed on him, but it brought him up to a 97. So he's 96 speed now instead of 95. 95 Excel, 200 pounds, 97 juke, 95 change of direction, 96 break tackle, 85 truck, and the short route running now is 87. This card with getting the speed boost 96, I don't know if they boost anything else on him, but being the fastest running back in the game, now he has some real value to him. So nice to see that. And then the final LTD, guys, is going to be T.Y. Hilton, which I do know one ability that he gets, which is really, really important here, and that is that T.Y. Hilton gets Slot-O-Matic for one AP, which is really, really, really big. Uh, he is short 5'10", but fastest wide receiver in the game, 96 speed, 95 excel, 96 short route running, 95 medium, 96 deep route running. I think you can make one exception to the you kind of need height this year rule is if they're the fastest wide receiver in the game, and he is. 96 speed, great change of direction, uh, 94 juke move, 94 break tackle as well. I feel like you can fit him into the team. And I think I will. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let's check real quick. Okay, is he going to show? So, all right. I don't know what's going on with the Eckler. I guess maybe he's not coming out today. But they boosted him to 97 and increased his speed. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.